Hello, beautiful beings. I just was at Sex Down South, in, normally based in Atlanta, but it was online this year and absolutely fantastic. I literally just got out of a class with um, Alicia Ortiz about solo sex for solo lovers. And I thought it was fantastic. And they were getting to a point where we were showing our personal toys at home and my computer froze. And that is really frustrating sometimes, especially when I'd gone and collected some of my things. And so I was going to post and share this little video with you to share what I would have shared in that video because I do something with um, as a transgender man and I haven't seen it posted online anywhere else, though I did get the idea years ago at a Fairy Butch event in San Francisco. I've taken it to a different direction and I want to share it with you here. So a bit about my genitals before we go any further. I'm a transgender man, which means I was assigned female at birth and have a vulva, but I've had a surgery called a metoidioplasty, which means that my clitoris had already grown out because of my trans, because of being on hormones, right? The clitoris doesn't get longer. It's that the muscle pushes it out, right? Cause you usually see about that much of the clitoris and then it just starts pushing it out because the muscle back here has everything grow thicker and whatnot. So in a metoidioplasty, they trim the part that holds your clitoris down, trim the clit hood so it pops up into place, and then they take the tissue around it and be able to snug up around it so you have more girth. I then had a mons resection, which pulls everything up because I was one of those people that I had just a lot of padding down there, which meant trying to find anything was a, a bit of a hunting adventure sometimes. These are not derogatory statements about myself, just part of my personal body reality. I'm saying this because it means that what I do with my body might be a little different than other people. There are some tools such as the Buck Off from Buck Angel and a number of other FTM, uh, female to male strokers out there on the market that are fantastic. On Etsy, there's a few great companies that I really support people purchasing local, as it were, from small time uh, vendors that are doing really creative, fun, interesting work, um, rather than necessarily only buying from some of the larger com uh, companies out there. But for me, one of the things that I came up with slash combined with ideas I was already given was to take a foreskin stretcher um, from a cock pump and transform it into me having a phallus of my own. So let me show you how I did that. So for Mr. S, I got, and it's really intimidating looking, this, this valve, this pump, right? That as you pump it, it will go up on the pressure wheel of how much you have, right? And this is a foreskin stretcher. It usually comes with this hard plastic, like the same acrylic. It usually has a ball at the end that you put inside the foreskin. You do this and it pumps things up and out. Now, and to, to stretch everything, right? For people who enjoy docking, which is the sensation of putting something else in, um, inside where your foreskin is and moving the foreskin back and forth across whatever that external thing is oftentimes somebody else's phallus. For some people, it's playing with it and putting clothespins on it. And that, and for other people, they just like the aesthetic of having a longer foreskin, which is fantastic. For me though, I took the ball out and with the size that I am, we'll go with about thumb size, I'm able to put my phallus in there, right about that much, and then be able to have that pumping pull everything up a little further and have it bulk out to fill up the entirety of this. Now by putting some lube on the inside, it makes that seal really tight, right? It's really, really tight, which means suddenly I have this, you know, five inch, six inch thing that's coming out the front. But how do you make it look like and feel like a phallus? Because yes, I can tug up and down on that and that feels really good because I get the psychosomatic experience of having something in my hand like a cisgender man might, cisgender being a man who was assigned male at birth, right? But for men out there on the market, there's these four, I mean, there's these girthing kinds of technologies that are, I'm gonna take the little tube out from the inside, that for cisgender men, you would put your phallus inside this, right? And then you'd have it be out here. I can do the same thing with that pump, right? So I put the this on top of the end of it, I pull the thing down, and suddenly on top of my pump, 
I have this that can be pulled on, lubed up, moved back and forth, etc., in the same way that somebody who is cisgender might do so. So for me, doing this in combination with other sorts of play gives me a really interesting experience sexually that might not happen otherwise. Now I've had people ask, can you use this for being able to do penetration onto another person? If it's not too rough and somebody is relaxed, sometimes. I'll be honest though, some, I've also had the situation happen where I started to go into someone or something and the seal popped and now that came out with it. And for those of us who struggle with dysphoria of some sorts, that can be emotionally challenging. So to think about that idea, um, can you, can you not? I think it's also really personal on your body, how much hair you have below the waist and whether that's affecting your seal, all of that kind of stuff but it's really personal. I just really wanted to share that toy because I hadn't seen it used out there in that way. Um, the idea that I was originally given didn't mention the cock sheath. It mentioned the idea of um, taking like some uh, Coflex, right? Like that stuff that's used for veterinary wrap or for wrapping your elbows or wrists when they get hurt. Um, using that to pad out the metal piece and then taking a condom over the entirety of the thing, which might work better, right? Because it doesn't have the weight of the, the uh, of the sheath, as it were. Uh, the sheath is just a, a different aesthetic and a different texture in my hand because it's got that squishiness. So thank you so much for letting me share that with you. I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy your play, whatever sex toys and play you personally choose to do. Thank you.